Welcome back to Simon Shares. I must say, I haven't posted for a while, but after Saturday, I needed to calm down a bit because the defence, yet again, have let us down. Right then, so, should we break that apart or should we just look forward to the next game? What do you reckon? Before we talk about the Bolton game, let's just think about the transfer dealings and what's going on with that. Connor Ronan gone back to the Wolves. He wasn't up to the rigours of League One football. Portsmouth had found that out. Um, so really, he's not ready for League One football. He's a very talented player. He's got great ability. But you have to earn the right to play. So for me, Ronan Keating, Ronan Keating, <laughs> Connor Ronan, my advice is he either needs to get a lot faster or get some meat on him. So that's that one. Um, Kane Wilson... Really not sort of ready for League One football in my mind. Again, I'm sure he's got lots of talent. Um, maybe not as talented as Conor Ronan. He's a bit more physically ready for it. But way too many mistakes. A bit too naive for me. So he's uh, he's another one that's gone. Conor Johnson. Thankfully, he's still at Warsaw. How he's not gone into the back four, I'll never know. Russell Martin, oh, I try not to think about Russell Martin, he's sort of, uh, let's not talk about Russell Martin, let's just leave that one go. Matt Jarvis, what a signing. Now, if that is the connection with Russell Martin that's got him to Warsaw, then all is forgiven, because Matt Jarvis is, as I posted on Twitter, he's the guy that we need some kind of focus, some kind of real quality player in there. Um, we'll remember back to Vinny Samways, sort of some years ago, um, a real quality player. And that's what I thought, I'm on about Russell Martin again, I can't help it. Um, I remember having Steve Staunton playing for Warsaw, Stan Staunton, and the quality of that guy... <laughs> Just outstanding quality. And Russell Martin, with sort of years in the Premier League, you'd expect something similar. But absolutely shocking. Absolutely shocking. I'll mention Russell Martin again. I do apologise. So one more we've got to talk about is uh, Mitch Candlin. He's uh, he's back at Warsaw, I think. He was uh, due to have super delights at Blackburn, but they've uh, not followed through with their plan. So he's back to Warsaw. Hopefully he can play centre-half and solve some of our issues. Um, some of the other young lads, like uh, Callum Mockrell Mullet. I keep saying that wrong, I think. Um, he may be... He should be coming back and having a go at left-back. Because uh, Luke Lee, despite his scoring ex exploits against Coventry, he's... Um, not doing himself any favours. I'm not going to mention Kieran Morris and his mom. I'm going to leave that one alone for today. Um, uh, a call to action, really. I had sort of uh, put a few things on Twitter. Uh, comparing the team that Warsaw put out in the JPT um, compared to the kind of team we're putting out now, sort of, so uh, what is that happening to the standard of the team? Is it deteriorating? Um, are we actually making any progress? Um, I started that without Matt Jarvis. I think um, he sort of changes the dynamic a little. So any thoughts on that? If you see on my Twitter, you'll find me on Twitter. I'll put a link at the bottom. Um, so I'd be interested to get some more comments on that. I've got a few comments from different places. I've Looking to put out a blog on that when I get round to it. Let's get out of the way and let's talk about the Bolton game. Oh, first, Matt Jarvis, what a talent. Great to have him at the club. Um, and he uh, had a good game by all accounts. Andy Cook, third goal in three games. All good. Bolton, yes, they are struggling. But Warsaw um, matched and really dominated first off. Uh, against Bolton Championship Club. So that's good. <sighs> OK, I think that's where the positives end, really. Um, tactically, Warsaw weren't at the races. 
Dean Keats tried to sort of hold things steady, but Warsaw, as we've said before, they're much better on the front foot because they, they haven't got a very good back foot. And Bolton changed things around and ripped us apart, really. Warsaw couldn't handle with balls into the box. Standard defending, particularly for the likes of Russell Martin. I did fear for him when uh, he was named in the in the squad. Um, I think Connor Johnson should have had another run out myself. But, yeah, back four. You watch your match of the day, boys. It's easy to see. Back four should be in a straight line. Warsaw was completely the opposite at one point. If you look at one of the goals, oh, embarrassing. Um, again, one of the goals, Russell Martin and uh, Guthrie standing right next to each other. The ball right in front of them, a yard out, and the Bolton score. It's just ridiculous, really. Clear the ball. Um, classic defending. He's trying to stay on your feet. Russell Martin went to ground for another one of their goals. And he's supposed to be the guy to sort it all out for us. Is that not the reason why Dean Keats brought him into Warsaw to sort out the back four? But Dean Keats is supposed to be the defensive genius with what he'd done at Wrexham. What's going on with that? He's supposed to be the guy to sort it all out. Oh. I think stats-wise, Sadler's stats, let's have some data. I've asked them one question already. Um, when was the last time Warsaw scored from a corner? And how many goals have Warsaw scored from corners? Because to be honest, when I'm at the game... When Warsaw get a corner, I think that's a good time for a drink because <laughs> Warsaw hardly ever score from corners. And I think maybe this season we've probably conceded more goals from our corners than we've scored. So Stad Sadler Stats hopefully going to get back to me with some figures on that. Quite difficult to get, I understand, but they're having a look for me. So what should Dean Keats do for the next game? Should we get Dunn in goal? He's not looked very impressive whenever I've seen him. And uh, we've not had good results with him. But should, does he deserve a going goal? Because uh, Roberts was to blame, I think, for a couple of them. Um, so he's made some good saves, but maybe sometimes he needs to come out of the team and uh, have a break, perhaps. Definitely Connor Johnson deserves a run. Like, the guys here on Lowen, he's a talent, played well against Coventry. And he's just not being given a game, right? Not being given a run of games. And it's not as if we're keeping clean sheets every week. Give him a chance. And left back, Cockrell Mullet, he should come back and give Lee a bit of a run for his money, perhaps. And Joe Edwards, now he's fit. He could come into the back four, perhaps. Somebody needs to fix the problem and fix it quick or we're going to be in relegation trouble. OK, right then. So... It's fun being a Warsaw fan, isn't it? It's fun being a Warsaw fan. Until next time, Simon Shares.